Welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop. Steve here with a playthrough of Fallen Angels. This is a cooperative deduction game played with just one deck of cards. Players are acting as police in Sydney, Australia, trying to gather up evidence and put away criminals. If you can put away 12 criminals before 4 escape, you win the game. Let me show you a little bit of how the game works and then we'll jump into a playthrough. This game primarily focuses around these suspect cards and there's a bunch of them in the deck. So this is one of the suspect cards in the game. Let's take a closer look at it. The most important thing about this card are the icons in the top corner, the top left corner. There may be two or one icon in the top left corner. On the flip side, there will be either one or two icons in the top left corner. And the important thing about this is one icon is shared in this location. So for example, here you see this blade, this uh, murder weapon. If you flip the card over, we'll see that one of those two icons is also the murder weapon. And so in this game, it centers around two players. You have to play two players, no way of playing with just one, where one player is holding their hands up, showing them one side of the card, and the person seeing the other side of the card. And they know partial information what the, what the other person is giving them for clues. And so you'll be using your card to try to describe to them what's on the, what you see on the other side of their card. It's, if you've ever played something like Hanabi, where you don't look at one side, it's kind of like that, but with a deduction element added on top of that. So if you're able to do so a number of times, and if you see this number down here, this is number three, that's how many times you have to bring them to court, or in other words, how many times you need to deduce this card to put them away. Below that number, you see icons. It could be one or two icons, and this is the reward you get for making a correct deduction. So if I'm able to deduce correctly on the other side of this card, that it is the murder weapon, and I see the side, my reward would, would be to either rotate the card, that's what this first icon means, 180 degrees, or the second icon means I get to flip the card. In either case, you see that now the number is a two, or if I rotate the other way, the number is also a two. So it counts down from three, two, and if I do the reward one more time, one. And this icon is put them away, con convict them. So once you are on this side of the card, and you correctly guess the icons on the other side, you can take this card and put it into your score pile. If you put away 12, you win the game. If at any time in the game, you make a deduction and you are incorrect, they escape. If you have four people escape, you lose the game. Here's one of the player aids you'll be using in this game. You'll see a number of different things. you see the different types of evidence. So there are six different icons in this game. These icons you'll see in the top left corner. You'll also see a little guide on what the icons mean for rewards. And you'll also see this little X and check mark. And what you'll be doing is you'll be taking these cards and you'll be placing these cards on either side of this reference card. And the cards to the right of the check mark facing your, your uh, partner are cards that match the, one of their icons. The cards on the left are icons that do not match them. So be using this card as a divider. You can also, if you want, just separate the cards into two separate piles. Like, hey, here's in this hand, these are correct, and in this hand, they're incorrect. However you want to do, it's fine. But they do have this nice little divider. And if we were to flip this over, you see that the divider does match. So now that the correct uh, clues are on the left side and the incorrect clues on the right side. This will make a lot more sense in the actual playthrough. And finally, you have four of these optional cards that are just for keeping track of your layout. So you can put all your informants, acquitted, discarded, and convicted cards into these piles. Now, if we talk about convicted cards, this is your win pile. Acquitted pile, this is your loss pile. And informants and discarded cards piles are something different. So after I deal out hands to everyone, you'll have a few leftover cards. And these cards will simply be face up in the middle of the table, where everyone can see. At some point during the game, you can choose to say, hey, I need some help. I need to ask an informant. You can say, this card here, how many of these icons match the card that I'm trying to guess? And the other player will look at this and tell them a number. After you've used an informant to get some information, they will be discarded. And you have six of them to use for the whole game. You do not get them back. But that's basically the whole game. I'll run through setup and we'll just sit down and play. So this is how you set up a game for Fallen Angels. You'll take the full deck of suspect cards and make sure they're arranged so that the number three is in the top left corner. So 
So if you scroll through here real quick, you see that all these threes are in that location. Now all you're gonna be doing is putting this whole deck underneath the table. Now I'm not gonna do that in a video playthrough because obviously that's not useful to you guys. So I'm gonna flub it a little bit and just show you what I'll be doing under the table. I'll put a little note on the screen so keep track of that this action is being done underneath the, underneath the table. And now what we're gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be shuffling up these cards. And then depending on how many players you're setting up for, you need to remove some of these cards from the game blindly. And so we'll be play a two player game, but with a two player game, you play with a dummy player. So I'm gonna remove three of these cards. One, two, three. So three cards out of the game. I don't even look at them. Okay, now with the rest of the cards, shuffle them up a little bit more if you want. And now this is all under the table still. I will count 12 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Take these 12 cards and you will rotate them 180 degrees. Square up the deck again, and then continue shuffling. So this is how you set up the beginner game. If I want to do a normal difficulty, all I would do again is take another 12 cards and rotate them again. If I want advanced difficulty, I take the whole deck and just flip it over. But for this playthrough, I'm gonna be doing uh, beginner difficulty, just showing how the game works. So after this is shuffled well enough, and this is all under the table still, I will take one of these reference cards. And so this is the card that faces the player. We need to make sure that is face down. So you take this card and put it face down on top of the deck. And now we need to count out a hand for each player. So we count out eight cards for this setup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cards, including the card I just added. I'll take this deck, and this is a player's hand. I'll set that, bring this to the top of the table, and give it to a player. That's one hand. Do it again. Grab another one of these cards. Put it face down on top. Count out eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like so. That's another player. And one more card on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and give that to the last player. Okay, now, if I did this right, we should count six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's exactly right. These six cards, we can just bring back to the top of the table, and these will become our informants. So you can take your informant card, and you can lay these out however you want, make sure everyone sees all the icons at, on the table. So this is what we'll be using to help guess when we need some help. Important tip though, is when you do hand these decks to the other players, make sure that they pay attention to the orientation of the deck. So this deck has a top here and a bottom here. If they were to flip it over or get this mixed up, it will randomly increase the difficulty for them. So that's something to keep in mind. So then what they would do is take this deck and then, well, I'm gonna show you the front of it, but you pick it up and you look at it from here. So now I can fan through all these cards and look. And whenever you're done looking, it's always important to square it up, keep this on the back, and put it face down if you ever need to take a break or whatever. So that's how you set it up. Now that we have our three hands, I'll have my wife join me at the table, and I'll show you how to play. Okay, back to the table with my wife, Kim. Hello, everyone. So we're going to try to work through this together. Hopefully we can stop the criminals. I'll give this deck to my wife. This one in the middle will be for the dummy player. And yes, I'm not the dummy playing this one. This one will be me. Sure about that? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you how this operates. So I gave my wife her deck, and it's important, like I said, to pick it up in its orientation. Make sure you don't flip it around. But for us, I'm gonna flip it around, and you can show. I'll show you what I see. So I'm gonna see these cards. I can find them out however I want. And there's icons in the bottom right corner, but we really don't care about those. We only care about the ones in the top left corner. I think the easiest way to teach this game is to show how deduction works from a deduct deductor side or guesser side, really. So we have some choices. We can choose to guess any of these level twos or these level ones. The level ones will be go straight to conviction pile, but I think it's easier to start with a level two deduction first. So I'm just going to choose. Uh, let's see. I'll choose this guy randomly. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to square up these cards and I'm going to take this card, this evidence card, and put it in front. And I like to hold it like this. So that way I can see what I'm, oops, actually, <laughs> key, key point here. It's important to put this in the back so now I can actually see the face. So <laughs> it'd be helpful. I need to see the back side of the card. Yeah, it kind of helps make sure you square that up correctly. So those cards can go behind this card, but this is my reference material. And I know that one of these two icons is on the other side of this card. But I don't know what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and show that to my wife. Okay. And then what she's going to do, she's going to look through her cards, try to organize her cards with, if she sees this icon, she's going to put it on the check side. If she doesn't see these icons, she can put it on the X side. So she's going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay, so with my wife looked at the icon on the back side, and she organized her hand. And in this case, maybe not the best example to start with, but quite literally, all these cards are on the no side. So what she's telling me is she only sees one of these two icons. But whichever icon she sees is a no. Same with all these other examples. So with that said, let's see if we can figure this out. I know it's either the eyewitness or the fingerprint. I'm not sure which of these two it is. So we know that it's definitely not one of, well, well man, it's, it's not one of these two. We don't, that doesn't really help us any. Actually, none of these really help us. I know, that's kind of a rough. This is a rough start. Rough start. <laughs> because she only sees one of these two icons. And so if she saw the eyeball, for example, this may be a yes. So it could imply that this is the weapon and that's a no. But that doesn't really help because if you notice that this card right here, this is a no, and that's quite literally our, our icons here. So this is this one has to be the direct opposite of what we're showing. So this is a pretty uninformative hand, unfortunately. I think what we want to be doing is let's go ahead and go to the dummy player's hand and see what they, they say. Okay, I asked my wife to take a look at the dummy player hand, and this is what she showed me. She revealed that these three cards do match a symbol that I have on the other side of my card, and these ones do not. That helps a ton because if you notice on these three cards, also the fingerprint. And because we know that it's either the fingerprint or the eyewitness icon, and on the other side of like this card specifically, it's either the fingerprint or the murder weapon. If she put this card on the X side, uh, we would know that it would it would have to show the murder weapon. But because you put on this check side, we know it's the other option, which is the fingerprint. So we know with high level of confidence that it is the fingerprint. And honestly, this one helps verify that as well. So we're ready to make an accusation. I say the, the other side of this card is a fingerprint. So if we're right, we do the reward. If we're wrong, then we <laughs> lost one, one, prison, one uh, culprit. So, so flip it over. It is the fingerprint. So we are correct. So. Down here's our reward. We get to rotate the card 180. So we rotate like that in our hand. And then we uh, set the hand up again. And we're ready for my wife to go. Okay, so I've picked which card I'm going to guess at. And without looking at the answer, this is what Steve will have. So I'm looking at these two icons. So what I keep in mind. I don't know what's on her other side. But this is, these are the clues I need to give her. So what I need to do now is look at my deck. So I'll flip it over. And anytime I see those two icons, I will pull them to the right. So obviously this icon I did see. This one I did see. I saw that one, didn't see that one. And so these three cards I did see, the rest of mine didn't see. So I'm gonna put my evidence card between it. Notice the check mark that lines with these three on this side. So these are yes clues, the rest of them are no clues. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my hand just like this so my wife sees the back side of it and I have her guess. So now for purposes of demonstrations, I'm gonna flip my hand over so my wife can see the card to talk through it. But in reality, I would not see this side. And I'm gonna actually step away for a little bit and kind of not look at these just to keep the game going a bit. So well, just don't leave me, just don't look at your cards. <laughs> okay, so flip them over and I won't look. So oh, this should be the yeses and noes. So my wife looking at those cards. Okay, so 
looking at this, I know what symbol I see of the two that Steve saw. So this is that symbol that I have. So I'm going to disregard that card. Um, the other yes is there's commonality on the eyewitness and there's a footprint. So I'm going to go to the nose. So I know for sure it's not a uh, fingerprint or a conviction. So those three are out. It's not a fingerprint. It, the footprint's kind of thrown me a little bit, but because if it's 100% not a fingerprint, so it can't be a fingerprint on this card. So this card has to be a footprint. So it's not a footprint. So then that means that this card isn't showing him a footprint and it's the eyewitness. And then there's an eyewitness on the back side of this card. So I'm going to say it's an eyewitness card. This is the, we we're trying to get her to guess and she guessed the eyewitness and she saw just the fiber. So she is correct. So uh -huh. her reward is here. Conviction. That's our first conviction of the game. So we remove her from her hand and place it in our conviction pile. So at one point, we need 12 to win. All right, pulling the weight. <laughs> okay, now our turn to guess. So flip my cards over again. I've got some choices of what I want to start with. The number ones are straight to conviction, which is nice, but the others are easy to guess. Uh, let's do... Well, my wife put one away. Let's see if we can do it too. Well, yeah, but in my defense, all my guys are showing that side because somebody didn't shuffle very well. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so I don't have a choice. <laughs> I like to say I was shuffling underneath the table, but that's obviously not true. So <laughs> can't use that excuse right now. Um, let's just try it. Let's try to put this person away. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the back. Move our evidence to the front so we can reference it. And then I will show my wife the back side of this card. So this is the back side of her hand. So we can look at what I showed her. I showed her the eyeball. And so she said that, yes, she saw the other symbol other than the eyeball on the back side of this. So, well, she could have had, she needs to, if she sees the eyeball, she has to include it here. So here we could have just the eyeball on the other side of this card. This one, we know it's either the uh, confession or the footprints. This one, we know it's either the fibers or the footprint. And the fact that she only sees one of these two icons behind here means it basically has to be the footprint. Now, it gets a little weird because obviously in the nose, we do see the footprint over here, but she only sees one of these two icons. So she could be seeing just the murder weapon on the other side of that card. I'm feeling fairly confident based upon these, especially these last two cards, that it is going to be the footprint. And this one, she must be seeing the eyewitness and not the fingerprint. So I'm going to go ahead and say I'm ready to make a, a conviction. And I'm going to say, is it the footprint? It is the footprint. Boom. So reward is another conviction, another point for us. It's interesting, though, that you really skipped over here, just hammering home the point that it wasn't the murder weapon. Um. Yeah, I skipped over it. <laughs> yeah, like, you're just like, boom. So, because you knew it had to have been the eyeball. Or, no, it couldn't have been the eyeball. So it had to have been showing the murder weapon here. Which, yeah, I yep. don't know. Interesting. But Turn in reality, out. you would not see the side of your hand either. That's true. So That's you'd, true. it'd be even harder for you to discuss with me because you only see parts of information. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm cheating. I shouldn't You're be looking cheating. at my cards. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> I won't remember any of those. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the benefit of this game. It's really hard to remember any of the information you're seeing. Okay, so that was it for my turn. Uh, have my wife start again. Okay, we're going to try to put this guy away. I only see one of those symbols. I'm not looking at that card. So we need to give her a hint on if we see these two symbols. So I'll give this back to her. Yet again, going through here, I see this one, and this one, and ooh, these two. Okay, so this is what I'm going to hold up, and obviously she's seeing the other side, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to flip these cards over for her. Okay, so I know 
that it is for sure not a fiber or a fingerprint. I know this card has to be a footprint. I see a footprint on my side. Um, it could be an eyewitness conviction or fiber. Nope, not a fiber based on the other card. So eyewitness or conviction, pretty much a 50-50 shot looking at this. So I'm thinking this might be a good opportunity to show off the informants. So here are the informants that we can choose from. So which informant would you like, Kim? Okay, so as I was saying, I know it's either an eyewitness or a confession, which I will start saying properly for the rest of the game, hopefully. Um, and I do have a footprint on my card, so if I ask for this informant, if Steve says it's a one, I know it's not a confession. If, it, if he says two, I know it is the confession. And I really hope I'm right now that Steve just double-checked the other side of my card. So, Steve, I'm asking that informant how many he sees. This one you want to use? Yes. The answer is two. Okay, so I'm going to say that my card is showing a footprint and a confession. So here's her card. Flip it over. And she is right. The reward being another one locked up. Good job. Cool. So then this guy has been... Discarded. Yes. Okay, we have five left to use for this game. Okay, time for us to pick a card. Let's see. Hmm. Let's try... Should we put another one away? Let's put this guy away. He seems suspicious. Look at that face. Look at you judging books. <laughs> so... <laughs> let's, let's, put him, let's put him away. So let's do that. I only see this icon. My wife sees two icons, so I show it to her. Okay, so this is what we have to work <laughs> with. Why are you laughing? Uh, actually, it's pretty terrible. <laughs> so, obviously, we know this icon, and she could just be seeing the same icon we're seeing. That's a yes. Or I could be seeing the weapon, and the, she could be seeing the other weapon. one's just a fluke. But That's true. Could be a fluke. Know. We don't know. So, unfortunately, because each of these are double icons, I don't know which one she's seeing on the other side. It could be that she's seeing just, you know, the eyeballs and the footprints, and I, I can't tell what the other stuff is. So this is just a really not useful hand. Um, so I think what we'll wind up doing is, well, one thing I can discern from here is in the event that the other side of this is the murder weapon, and she put it over here for that reason, then there is a slight, slight chance it's that, but most likely it's not. Because so, there was, are, like, murder weapons on the other side. Also. Right. There could be murder weapons on the other side. Exactly. So, let's go to the dummy player hand and see if we can get some information from that one. So here's the back of the dummy player hand my wife will look through. So, remind ourselves, you see this icon? We don't know what the other one is. So, well, we know she sees the, the uh, confession on this back side of this one, so that's kind of not useful to us. This one is useful. Because she does see the footprint. Actually, not necessarily, because there's two icons. You could see another confession on the other side of that one. So that may or may not be helpful. Uh, actually, because we also see footprint here, and we know she sees two icons, and both of them are wrong, we know for sure it's not the footprint. So whatever icon is on the other side of this one, the flip side, is correct. Um, but unfortunately, we don't know what it is. Looking over here, we do see two. Uh, she could just very see, see the confession again, but it could be the fingerprint, who knows. So at least so far, we know that it's not the footprint. Looking on this one here, she sees two icons. Interestingly enough, we do have a little bit of issue because we see the confession here and the confession here. So obviously she doesn't see the confession because otherwise it would be on the yes side. So she must mean she sees the fingerprint, that's also a no. So good news is we've eliminated both the footprint and the fingerprint. Over here, we know it's not the fingerprint, so it could just be another fingerprint, but it also could be the murder weapon, which is, I guess, also a no. 
So in either case, those would be, well, it could be, it could still be the murder weapon. We don't know that for sure. So I guess that doesn't really help us. This one as well, I guess you can see the fingerprint or the eyeball. That doesn't really help a whole lot in this situation. So I guess what we know for sure is we know it's not the fingerprint or the footprint. We don't know what the other three. We know the confession is one of them, of course. Uh, the eyewitness fibers. There's no fibers anywhere in here. So that's not interesting or useful to us. So I guess I'm kind of running blind here. We might need to try to use an informant, I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and use an informant. And I know we want to try to discern between the rest of these three icons. Okay, here's our five informants. So like I said before, we're looking for eyewitness, fibers, or weapon is what we want to help discern. So here we have the weapon and fibers. We know the confession is obviously one of them. So this one will tell us, if we choose this one, if she says, she's going to say one at least, but she could say two, well, she, if she said two there, we don't know which one it is. So that's not that useful to us. Um, let's see, this one's got the fingerprint, we know it's not it. This one, we would just be guessing if it's the weapon or not, because we know it's not the footprint or the fingerprint. Here, kind of in a similar boat where we don't know if it's the fibers or the eyewitness, so she would say one for sure, but it could be, it's just two, we don't, it's a 50-50 chance. If she says just one, then we know it is the murder weapon. So this is not a bad card. It'll get, gets down to a 50-50 shot. This one here, it would, we just check and see if it's the fibers. And actually, these, this card and this card are basically equivalent to us. So I think our best guess is to go with this one. It, one of two ways, we'll either we'll get the answer or we'll be down to 50-50 shot and we have to make a guess. So I think that's one we'll go with. So let's try it. What is this informant telling us? Two. Two. Okay, so we know it's not the murder weapon. It is either the fibers or the eyewitness. Seeing how we didn't see a single fiber on the other side of the card, I'm going to lean slightly towards eyewitness, but it's really just a guess. I don't know. I'm just eyeballing it. I get oh, it? Oh, that, that was terrible. You're welcome, Dan. Joke of the day. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try it. I'll say eyewitness. Is that correct? You let him get away. <laughs> oh, no. He got away. Okay. That's one, one down. And we lose this informant. So Miss Ethel Ben has these two icons on the back of her card. So let's go ahead and set up our hand for my wife to guess. So going through our hand, we've got these are yeses and this is a yes. So I would show her this result. Yes, 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 yes. No. So I'd be holding my backside of my cards up to her and this is what she, she would see. Okay, I know it's 100% not a fiber. I am showing a weapon. Uh, hmm. Um, oh, this fingerprint card actually, well, no, that does not 100% guarantee it. Um, so, because he's seen a fingerprint and something else. So, the something else could be the weapon. But, there's also a fingerprint there. I think I would like to see the dummy hand. So, I pick up the dummy hand, and I look through it, and I see... Well, these two cards have the icons on it. So put on the yes side and the rest of them are the no. So I will show my wife the back side of this hand. Wow, okay. Um, so my assumptions on the last hand was leaning me towards fingerprint, but now it's completely swayed me the other way. Um, I also know that it is not a confession for sure. So that's no confession, no fiber. Um, and since I'm showing a weapon, and it's weapon on the no, so I know this is a fingerprint card, so 100% not a fingerprint. Um, then over here I have two footprints, so I'm just I'm more inclined just to say, okay, it's a weapon and a footprint that I'm seeing on the, or that Steve is seeing on the back of this card with Miss Ethel. Is that correct? You gonna go with it? I'm going with it. Let's take a peek. You are correct. Reward is put away. Cool. Okay, our turn. Let's see. Um, let's try to... 
the, so the one thing about this game is as we're putting away people, we are le losing cards off our hands, so it's less car information for the other player. So while I could try to put away this person, because I'm at the one stage with them, I'm more inclined to lean towards one of these other twos I have out here, just to keep the card in my hand longer. So let's go ahead and uh, let's randomly choose this one. So what I'm going to do is put that back here, put our card up there, and then show my wife the back side of this card. So this is what I'm trying to guess with. I know it's either the eyewitness or the footprint on the other side. And this is what my wife showed me. So this is the back side of her, or back, back of her hand. So she does see either the eyeball or the fingerprint. But, so it could be the eyeball, actually. Does that tell us? Because we know it's either one of the two and it's a yes here. So it has to be the eyeball. Um, here, there's a footprint that says no, but she must see the... Well, actually, it doesn't matter. She only sees one of the icons on the other side. She does see the eyeball here as a no. But she could just be seeing the, the murder weapon. So because it's either the eyeball or, or the footprint, and one of these two is correct, it has to be the eyeball, which is the eyewitness. So I'm going to say, is it the eyewitness? You are correct. Sweet. So just take a peek. It is. And we get to rotate the card 180. Okay, let's have my wife go. Okay. Mr. Patrick Riley has been accused of counterfeiting. So we're gonna try to put him away. And these are the icons I see for him. So let's go set up my hand for my, my wife, Kim. So in my hand, I see those icons and that's a yes. And these are the no cards. So I'll show Kim the other side of this hand. I have a footprint and it is a footprint and something else. Um, so I could assume Maybe he's seeing the footprint on the back of that. Um, I know he sees the fingerprint on the other side of that card. He's seeing the fiber, but it could just be the other symbol. I know it is not a confession. And that may not be a weapon, but it also just may not be a confession. Hmm. Maybe it's a fiber? I would think I need the other hand with more information. Okay, so the dummy hand. So here's the back side of the dummy hand. Okay, so I already know the footprint is an answer and I know it's not a confession. So I can only get some more eliminations out of this hand. Well, based on the other hand, I know it has to be either a fingerprint or a fiber. I know it is not a confession, 100%. Mm -hmm. So that card does me no good. I'm showing a footprint, which is confirming that, so those are not helpful. Over here, I have two confessions, which is what you could be seeing, or you could be seeing a fingerprint, and it is also not a fingerprint, which there are other fingerprints across the board, which leads me to think maybe it's not a fingerprint, but then that's counter to the other hand that had a card showing a fingerprint, but it could just be a random icon. It could also not be a weapon or a eyewitness. I'm honestly kind of stumped on this one. And let's see what the informant options are. So here's our informant choices. My gut says just pick the fiber, but I have no basis <laughs> really to support that 100% other than there's a chance it could be it based on one card and a 50-50 shot. So if I know it's not the confession, so I could pick this card and this, well, I don't know if it's the weapon 100% or not. I don't think it is, but it's a complete guess. This would tell me if my gut hunch is right or not. Hmm. Over here would tell me it's a footprint or the narrow it down to the fingerprint or the fiber. 
Same with the card below that. And the other card would be telling me if it's potentially the weapon or the fingerprint. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure at all. So I am going to go with my gut. So you're not going to use an informant? No. Okay. I, well, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Because it could be, I'm between, honestly, I'm between the fingerprint and the fiber, but there's not a whole lot of science behind that for me right now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, there's just so many no's from the dummy hand to the fingerprint, but those could be the confessions. I mean, if he got away, it was just counterfeit. So how bad is it really? <laughs> I think to save, to save an informant, because I don't, I'm still just guessing and I don't want to waste the informant because I would still really just be guessing. I don't have a whole lot of confidence here. I think I'm just going to take a shot without using an informant. It seems like a better strategy than I did earlier. <laughs> well, I mean, I wasn't going to say anything then, but <laughs> we're giving examples. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, I still don't feel good about it, but I'm going to say, my, like I said, my first gut was fiber, but now I'm thinking maybe... Maybe it's fingerprint. 50-50. And watch, if it's none of those, I don't even know what I was thinking. All right, first gut, fiber. I don't think it's right. Is it right? You're going fiber. I'm going fiber. Yes. <laughs> you are correct. Good job. Good. Go with your guts. You didn't oh, put them away. I should have been a cop. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you keeping score at home, we do have five convicted and only one acquitted. Just a reminder, we lose if we ever have four quitted, and the goal is to get to 12 convicted. Now, we've been noticing that our hands are diminishing and smaller and smaller, and we have less and less clues. So as we go, it's going to get even more challenging to, to guess these. So that's another reason why we might want to save the informants for later. You're welcome. <laughs> so thanks. Okay, let's look at our hand. Let's see, should we try to put someone else away or try to flip a card? Um, let's just try to flip a card. Let's go with this guy. So, put the card like that on the bottom and show my wife the other side of this card. Okay, with showing these icons to Kim, she showed me a hand of no. Lots and lots of no's. Which is interesting because that doesn't really help. <laughs> so, I, I know it's either fiber or fingerprint. Um, I know because it's... One of these two in the back side, it's, I don't know which one it is that she sees. That's a no. But it doesn't help because I, I know it's one of these two. This is the only one that's interesting to me because it does have fingerprint on it. And that's a no. So it could be that she is not seeing a fingerprint. It is a fiber on the other side of this card. Or the fact that she sees the eyewitness and it is the fingerprint. So it doesn't really help a whole lot. But... If I were to guess right now with my gut, I would probably lean towards lean towards it being a fiber, just in the off chance that is a fingerprint. But I, I really need more information. So let's go ahead and look at the dummy hand. So now let's look at the back side of the dummy player hand, and this is what we get. So we know it's one of these two. Wow, interesting. She did see a yes to wait what? You see the footprint. Oh, you see a different icon with it. So whatever the other icon is, is correct. Same thing with this guy. So that's interesting. But you do see a no here with two icons. But I don't know. I don't know what you see there. That's not helpful. There's a lot of fingerprints on here that are no's. I mean, granted, it could be that she sees the other symbol in all cases, and it is the fingerprint. But I guess the odds are that's probably not true. And it's the fiber you see on the other side. So I don't have a lot to go on. But the fact that I've seen fingerprints on the no side of this dummy hand and Kim's hand, I, I think I'm just going to take a guess and, and say fibers but and not use an informant. I, would, I mean, that would for sure give me the answer. But I, I think I'm okay going with my gut. So I'm going to say, is it fiber? 
Yes, it is. All right. Reward, you can rotate this card. Okay, we're gonna try this guy. We're gonna put him away so I only see one icon. So I will go through and give her these clues. And this is the back of my hand. Cool. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> um, okay, so the only key takeaway is it could be a fingerprint, but I know for sure it's not a confession based on this card. That's all I'm confident on. Because you could also not be a fingerprint based on the other cards. Right. So it's not a confession. Okay, I have five other options. Um, let's check out the other hand. So here we see the dummy hand, the back of the dummy hand up here, and the back of my hand down here. Okay, and pretty immediately I know that it is the fingerprint now. So Steve's hand confirmed it wasn't a confession. On the yes up here, I know that it has to be this fingerprint because I know it can't be this confession. So that kind of supports this guy over here. So that's what I'm going to go with. I'm not even going to worry about the rest of the cards. It is an eyewitness and fingerprint. Correct. Reward being another conviction. Good job, Kim. So Kim's been putting him away. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's try, let's try to go for this suspect. So I'll show my wife the backside. Solve it. <laughs> Solve it. Oh gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, not useful. <laughs> so. I mean, there's some information there. There is some. I mean. You know, it could be three different icons that are not it. Yeah. <laughs> that are not it. Any of those three. Okay. So let's look at the dummy hand. Okay, so this is what I see, and this is the dummy hand. So, what do I know? My wife, it's definitely not the confession, because she sees confession and something else here. So that, that is useful, so I know it's not that. So it's definitely, it's one of the others. So we're down to eyewitness, fibers, fingerprints, or weapon. On this side, she does see a yes, and she sees a footprint and something else. But obviously I have footprints, so that doesn't really help. This doesn't help me at all. This one here is interesting because she sees either confession or fingerprint. And I know right here that it's definitely not the confession. So I think that alone tells me it has to be the fingerprint. And I see fingerprints on the other cards as well, so that just could reinforce it. I think I'm feeling pretty confident between this card and that card that it has to be a fingerprint. So I'm going to make an accus accusation and say it's the footprint and fingerprint. Well, Boom. And award being... Another one put away. Okay, we're going to try to put this guy away. So I will organize my hand for that information. So here's the back side of my hand. Okay. So based on this, I think I can figure out the answer. So I have a confession, so that card is nullified. This is telling me 100% it is not a fingerprint. So since there's a fingerprint on the other side, I know that that can't be the icon he sees. So he has to be seeing the weapon on the yes side. So I'm going to go with that. It is a confession and a weapon. So she sees just confession and the answer is correct. Confession and weapon. Reward being another one put away. So I'll keep a little bit of strategy here to keep some more cards in my hand if I can. So I'm going to suggest we try to just flip this guy. So I'll show my wife the backside of this card and see what happens. With one card hands, not that useful, but let's see. I know it's not, it's one of these two symbols and whatever she sees is not there. So it could be that she's seeing the murder, murder weapon and it is the confession, but she could be seeing the eyeball and that doesn't really help me. So we either know it's not the eyeball or not the murder weapon. And here's the dummy hand. So she says yes, and there's a confession here and another symbol. So that is kind of useful because it could be the confession. You also see the confession on that side. Uh, on this side, she definitely sees the footprint. And it's definitely, well, we obviously know it's not that. So 
We do see confession on this side though too, but she could only be seeing the fingerprint. So the fact that I do see a murder weapon here is a no. The fact that I do see confessions here is a yes, leads me to say that it is the confession between the two. It is kind of a guess though. Yeah, the confidence in your voice is astounding. <laughs> it's trying to save those informants if I can. Um, I could use an informant just to make sure we get this correct. But I know we're getting down to a few cards and I think those informants are become much more valuable. So because it's a 50-50 guess, I think I'm just going to go with my gut. See if my gut's correct and I'm going to say I think it is a confession. Boom! Got it! So our roar being, flip the card. Okay, Kim only has one card, so this is the card that she has to put away. So I'll give her those clues. So here's the back of my hand. Okay, so I see a weapon, which is what he could be seeing on the other side. Uh, I know it is not a fingerprint, and it may not be a fiber. Um, but yeah, let's get the other hand out. Okay, the top hand is the dummy player, the bottom one is mine. Okay, so the dummy player is not a footprint, so whatever he sees, I'm not, I don't know what that is. Um, it is also not a confession, which I kind of figured from other, other there, down there. Um, so he could be seeing a fingerprint, it, potentially. Not likely. And actually, he is seeing fingerprints in the nose because I have the weapon, so it is not a footprint, not a confession. Confession. And actually, I already knew it wasn't a fingerprint. So it is either an eyewitness or a fiber. Which is interesting because, again, I'm at a 50-50 shot here. I think I'll use an informant. So I'm going to use an informant. I know it's either the eyewitness or the fiber to go along with my murder weapon. Here's the informants. All right. Let's ask... Um, this dude, it's either going to be one or two. We see, that guy says only one. Okay, so I know, well, I'm going to say that it's a eyewitness and a murder weapon. You flip over. Correct. So that one is also put away. Now, interestingly enough, Kim does not have any more cards left in her hand. So I might be wondering what happens in this situation. So now what you do is you look at the player with the most cards in their hand. In this case, it is going to be the dummy player. You take the highest value card you see. And so what that means is if you see a two, you have to take a two. If you see a three, you have to take a three, right? Whatever's, whatever the highest value is, you can pick between those values. But yeah, so she'll have to do that for the dummy player right now. Okay. Okay, Kim's been putting them away. Let's see if we can do the same. Let's go with this one. So here's the back side of the cards. Now at this point you guys might be wondering, well, how do you not know what the answer is? Because you've been looking at the backs and front of these cards most of the game. And while that's true, I'm trying not to pay that much attention. And two, my mind's kind of like a goldfish anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, but and I'll, I'll honestly, there's a lot going on when we're recording these playthroughs uh, with just other mental loads. So this is actually working out pretty well because these are genuine guesses. So anyway, here's my wife's card, and because she only has one card, I told her to just go ahead and give me the dummy player hand, because I knew that wasn't going to be much information. But she sees down here that there is a confession, and that's a yes. So that's interesting, because it could be the confession. But it could also just be the murder weapon she sees on the side. Looking up here, she definitely sees the footprint and the confession, and those are both yeses. But she also sees another icon, which could be the murder weapon that could be misleading, both these. But the fact that I see a confession down here and up here leads me to believe that could be confession. Um, over here, we do see confession, and that's in the no side, but she could only be seeing the fingerprint. Since there's a footprint here, we know it's definitely not the footprint. So whatever she sees on the other side here is the correct answer but I just don't know what that is. So all, all we know is definitely not the, not the footprint. 
um, here, well, kind of a kind of wash there. I I think what I want to lean towards is the fact that I see the confession here and up here, and I know it's not the footprint. Oh, I guess there's something else we know too, because looking at this card, this is a no, and I have the murder weapon. So the fact that it is in the no field it means it has to be the fingerprint. So we know the fingerprint is not correct. So we know it's not the footprint or the fingerprint. And we know it's not the murder weapon. So we're down to three. These last, these three here, confession, eyewitness, and fibers. I don't see fibers anywhere. So it could just be fibers. We just don't know. Uh, it could be confession, like I said, because we see in multiple places. The eyewitnesses here, it kind of leads me towards saying that it could be no, but it also could be yes because she's seeing the fingerprint. So we're kind of stuck with just those three, and I don't know if we can narrow it down a whole lot from there. We could try to go for informant, so let's look at those options and see if we can help, help us out. But I'm leaning towards confession unless I see something different. Okay, down to these three cards as our informants. So I know it's... Well, I'll see. It's the murder weapon's on the other side, but there's some other icon. It's either the confession, eyewitness, or fibers. So here, well, I know it's not the footprint or the fingerprint. I already deduced that, so this one's completely useless. This one here I, would tell me if it is a fiber. So I know it's the other two are not true, so it'd either be a one or a zero. And here, well, unfortunately, these two cards are identical. So... I'm stuck with basically eliminating the fiber and then be looked down to a 50-50 chance. Uh, that's not very good odds for using an informant. I could just guess at one and three and just see what happens. I think I might try that and save these for later because we're not gonna lose the game right now. I think I'm just gonna go with my gut, what I saw earlier, and I'll just say, is it the murder weapon and confession? It is, awesome. So this one is put away. Okay, so this is the answer that my wife's trying to guess. So Kim's gonna love my hand because it's a bunch of no's. I'm guessing you just want to see the dummy hand. Actually, I do not. Really? Yes, because I see a confession and a fingerprint. And you're telling me in this card alone, it is not a fingerprint. So what you have to be seeing is the confession. Is that your guess? Yeah. Take a peek. Correct. So you get to either rotate or flip the card. What would you like to do? What's the difference? Rotate will see you one icon and flipping will see you two icons. Um, I guess I'll flip it. Flip it. I've been so used to seeing only one icon all day or yeah, all game. <laughs> Okay, let's try to put this one away. So here are the two hands. My wife's hand, which is just worthless because I see the murder weapon, so that tells me absolutely nothing. You're and welcome. the dummy player's hand. <laughs> so uh, this one's not useful because she could be seeing the murder weapon, so I don't just don't know if it's the fingerprint or not. She, well, I mean, she does see three fingerprints, so it could be that, but it also could be the eyeball. Well, it has to be one of these two. So, the odds of, if this is the eyeball, then this one can't be, this one can't be true. And it has to be true because it's in the true category. Likewise, if this was the confession, this one couldn't be true. Because I know that one of the icons is the murder weapon. So this is telling me that, really, the fingerprint has to be it. And this is telling me some no's here. And well, we know for sure it's not the footprint or the confession, which actually these two cards alone tell me the answer. Because if it's not the confession, she for sure sees that. This is for sure yes. That means it has to be a fingerprint. So I'm going to say it's the weapon and fingerprint. All right, another one put away. Okay, so this is the clues we have to give uh, Kim. Okay. okay, so the dummy hand up top, my hand on the bottom. All right, so I see the footprint and the murder weapon. It has to be one of those two. So Steve's hand is not helpful. Over here, I know it is not the footprint. So not even worrying about anything else, even though that doesn't help me. But 
it's the murder weapon because it's not the footprint. And you are correct. So you get to rotate the card. Okay, we are one card away from winning the game, so I'm going to go try to put this away for the win. So, show this to Kim. Okay, here we go. So, I know fingerprint for sure. There's another symbol on the other side. I don't know what it is. Interestingly enough, this is a no, and I know fingerprint is it, so that must mean Kim saw the confession. So, I know it's not the confession for sure. Also, up here being the nose, you definitely see the footprint and some other symbol, so it's definitely not the footprint. So already off the bat, we know it's not confession or footprint. So down to eyewitness, fibers, or weapon. The rest of these are yeses. So the fingerprint she could see, so those we just don't know. She says yes here for the footprint, but we already said it wasn't the footprint. So that means where other symbols she sees is correct. And here the confession, I already said it wasn't the confession, so it's the other symbol she sees that is correct. So unfortunately, those don't really help me. I already knew that. So here, it's either the... Well, it could be that one. She sees one here. So I don't really have a whole lot of information right now. And if I get this right, it's going to win the game. So I think it's probably good use of our informants. So let's go and pull those out and see what we can do. So I said we're down... I know it's not the footprints and obviously not the fingerprints. I know it's not confession, so we're down to eyewitness, fibers, and weapons. One of those three. So I would to choose this guy. Um, well, it's not useful. Well, it would be useful because I know it's not footprint, but I don't know if it's weapon or not. So it's, she definitely sees the fingerprint, so this is either one or two. This will help eliminate or tell me if it's the weapon. These two cards are the same, unfortunately, so it doesn't really help a whole lot. But if I were to choose one of these, it would tell me that if it is the fiber. So in either case, I'm down. Actually, there's no reason. You can actually use more than one informant. So let's go ahead and use one of them, and then we can maybe use the other one. And we can get to winning the game. So, Kim, what is this informant telling me? Two. Two. So I know it's not the footprint, so it must be the fiber then. So I'm going to head and say, yes, I feel confident it is the fiber. Let's put him away. Boom. And with that, we have 12 convicted and one acquitted. Good job, Kim. Thanks. You too, Steve. Well, viewers, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough, and we'll see you at the next stop. Bye.